Steve Accordia, Agus Banach Dean of Fela Porig or of Galair. Hello, everybody, and happy St. Patrick's Day from the Embassy of Ireland in London. I'm delighted to welcome you to this virtual celebration of our National Day. The St. Patrick's Day period is always a busy and important time for me, my wife Ashling, and colleagues at the Embassy, attending various events and parades around the country. Our colleagues at the Consulates of Ireland in Wales and Scotland are equally busy. We would also normally be welcoming many friends of Ireland and members of the Irish community through our doors. Everyone understands why such gatherings are not possible this year. However, through the use of technology, I'm delighted to be able to host this event and connect with you all. For the Irish abroad, today is our annual opportunity to express deep pride in our heritage and to reinforce the already strong bonds with Ireland and with its global diaspora. The challenges faced by the Irish community in Britain over the last 12 months have been immense, and we mourn the loss of our fellow citizens sadly struck down by the pandemic. At the same time, the generous and compassionate response of Irish communities across Britain has made us proud and really demonstrated the unity and solidarity of our people. We also take great pride in the vital contribution made by Irish women and men in the health and emergency services. I also wish to acknowledge the wonderful support that the Embassy and the Consulates have continued to enjoy during the last year from the many friends of Ireland and Great Britain. At a challenging time of great change, that support has greatly encouraged us and has reinforced the ties of partnership and friendship between our two islands. So this year, St. Patrick's Day represents a moment of even greater significance and connection as we reflect on and appreciate even more the core values that bind us together, community, solidarity, and neighborliness. And now, Agwina Uishle, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Antishuk Michal Martin TD to convey greetings from Ireland. Ahishig. Good of Mahogut, Adrian. Dave, Agus Banachti, Nefele Padrig, Aruv Galer. I wish everyone a very happy St. Patrick's Day. This is a day of celebration, not just for Irish people around the world, but by every friend of Ireland too. Of course, today is a very different St. Patrick's Day. Normally we would see parades and events in cities and towns all across England, Scotland and Wales. We would see the best of Irish culture too, not just on our screens, but in cultural venues and on the streets as well. Creativity and innovation have always been at the core of Ireland's culture. This has been showcased all the more during the past year as our artists found new ways to develop and share their craft. We thank them for keeping us inspired by their work. Akarda, it goes without saying that the past year has been very tough. It continues to be tough, even if the route out of the COVID-19 crisis is now becoming clearer. It has been tough for you, the Irish community in Britain, especially those of you who have not got home, despite home being so near. Tough for everyone. But the Irish spirit, the resilient spirit of St. Patrick, sustains us all through these very tough times. I say this thinking of the 14,000 Irish women and men in the National Health Service who've worked even harder and with more commitment and courage than ever before, helping people through this crisis. I am thinking too of the many Irish community organisations from Glasgow to Liverpool and from Cardiff to London who have pulled together like never before, teaming up to check in on the elderly and the vulnerable and embracing digital platforms to maintain their services. That's the Irish spirit, the Irish way. This year, as we celebrate our National Day, we do so in a spirit of renewed hope and optimism. As Ireland approaches its second century of independence, we are focused on the future. I am focused too on positive renewal and a reset of our relations with Britain following a period of change and of challenge. Accorda, as we take time today to celebrate St. Patrick, let us think of the deep threads which bind us together as Ireland and Britain. 
through families, through culture, through our closely connected economies, through our history and heritage, and of course, through our joint guardianship of the peace process embodied by the Good Friday Agreement. In the end, it all comes back to our people, Muita na Herden, our people at home and abroad. And today, perhaps more than any other day, we come together. Thank you. Go of Mila Mahagwiv Galer. Go Ahishig. And now it's time to celebrate and to rejoice in Ireland's rich musical heritage. I'm delighted to introduce to you our St. Patrick's Day music performance recorded here in the Embassy. Award-winning fiddle player Aoife Ivrian leads our group of British and Irish musicians in an Irish trad session. Arai glad Aoife. Gurf Mila Magath Ambassador, August Falls Rove Gilair, could you hem seen a heron and shot in London and you? We're so delighted to welcome you to the Irish Embassy for a few tunes this St. Patrick's Day. And I am delighted to be in the company of some incredible musicians. We have Orla McAuliffe on the flute, Joe Bardwell on guitar, Grace Lemon on Illan Pipes, Darach Machmahuna on the box myself, Aoife Nivrian, on the fiddle. We're going to play a set of reels to start it off. The first one is called The Sailor on the Rock. Then we're going to play The Duke of Leinster into Rekish Paddy. Gur Mila Magui, Bunagi Sultas.
We're going to continue now with a slow air on the Illum Pipes called Palm Shit and Colour and follow it up with a few jigs, the rolling wave and a great piping tune, Strap the Razor.
We're lucky to have a very special guest with us today, Mohammed Al Husseini, who is here to sing Casa on Sugan, an Irish Shano song. Gurv Miramagat Mohammed. August rain, Misha class, and she back he go to the rare. It's entire no class, he John lost the letter here. It's in true class, he for do a curly mosque. Skur veniki do vekai hun do a twilehi. Arena var kirikha sin sin do he shum me. Skur machai lin jas yo hain mahu a game bakain. Gurmo kasu mis jak maru shark a run game o clay. Gurran chan manamak me kasu an tu ganim fer. Ma vin tu yam bilam a story mo kri. Ma vin tu Shamal yam go fan at yam de dani hu marf ni. Tamo kyan su yalabe is ni le green of day. Ni vahyan a break for no bright to pay sadam chile. Is tam a year no play. Shemal yam go fa na kiam de dani hu marf ni. Tama chuki go dera an kiol an yu ach gurv mila magui as och the veling. We've come to the end of our concert for you today. And we'd like to say thank you so much for being with us and wish you a very happy St. Patrick's Day. We're going to finish up with a set of reels that is Fred Finn's, The Copper Plate, and the books of Oren Moore. Law, Fela Porik, Son of Dave Gilair, Agus Gomer Mitbio, Eganam Shorish, Gurv Mila Maui. Slam.
Gurmagat Aoife August Accordia. That brings this embassy part of St. Patrick's Day 2021 to a close. But there is still plenty more to enjoy virtually throughout the day from all corners of Great Britain, Ireland and beyond, as the Irish community across the globe come together to mark this very special day. I want to wish each and every one of you tuning in this afternoon a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day, and we look forward to seeing you in person very soon and welcoming you back to our embassy and consulates. Banachdi, Nafela, Porig, Orev, Galer.